second round is about to begin here. We're gonna dive right into it. Let's see how the opening joust will end up going here. I believe if memory serves me correctly, Eclipse was able to win this one last time, but it's gonna be relatively even. It looks like Jax ends up getting a bit of a punch into their favor, but Paladar has already picked it back up and is taking it to the neutral zone. Very quickly see them slingshot forward. Johnny's in position. Mm -hmm. Now they gotta get the pass going. Right up, up top. Ooh, missed Ooh, him. it banked off of, it didn't end up going into the little little cubby that's up on the ceiling. It ended up banking off the actual ceiling. So it's shot it away from Lemming. It's gonna waste a bit of time. Still the setup for it, but no, this one's a little oh, rough. Oh, no, 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 no. a goal. Recovers it, but he had to quickly try and go for a goal. Didn't wasn't able to aim as properly as he would have liked. They still have control though. Jax hasn't been able there to take it, it back from him. And yeah, finally, they're gonna be able to secure that goal. It's just a very long goal. I don't think that was an intentional whiff. I think he was trying to bounce past it off the ground in order to make Affentera think that it was a miss to draw him out of the mm. goal as it bounces up to Eye Shiny. It's just somebody else on the team noticed and was able to push him out of the way. It's a very clever tactic. <laughs> Usually Affentera doesn't fall for it. He's not a big fan of leaving the goal whenever they're in his area. And you see that. So we, we saw somebody try something very similar where they were just hanging out here trying to bait the goalie out of the goal. And it's a, that's one of the newer tactics. Normally you just punch the goalie out, but trying to get them to leave is also another one. Well, here comes the launch. This time it's going to be Jax getting early possession, of course. Affentera quickly taking it up the field. But look at this, already having aggression coming back in. It was Lemming right up on top of him here. Blue team's goalie quickly getting rid of that too, despite the good pass that came out there from Affentera to send it upfield. Just not enough to keep it there, sadly. So Affentera is going to be waiting at the midfield though, picks it up Bad again. pass. Keeps the pressure on, and yep, yeah, we do see the disc getting sent over to the side. Sadly, Boop gets knocked out of the running. Now he's going to be back into it though, picks it up. Excuse me, Slim Slim pass it back to Boop. Out. Oh, they're going back and forth on each other. They're going to quickly get surrounded here though. Slim got oh. it, no, nope, punched out. So another thing about Lemming playing upside down is it's hard to see him coming half the time. Mm -hmm can hide himself upside down in those walls, and then he just jumps down. And generally, you know, people don't look up, but since he's usually in an up position from you, it's hard for him to uh -oh. look up as well. So Lin and Boop gonna work together here to try and clutch up to Lemming. They move in, clear knock it. him out. They clear it, but there's no one up there. So that's gonna become a bit problematic. Let's quickly try and slingshot forward. Oh yes, they have it. They've got it ready to go. Jax is gonna sling forward. Do they get the goal in time? Oh, no, no, it's he off didn't. its mark big time. Affin Terror is actually upfield here right now as well. So they've kept Boop further behind the lines. Another attempt at the oh, goal, the not on the diamond. Another miss too, no. This is not what Jax needs right now. Not indeed. This is, you get many shots on goal, but none of them getting very close to the mark at all. Like they're, get, they're kind of whiffing them pretty hard, but Affin Terror, once he approaches the goal, that's where it gets dangerous, but still too wide of a shot and Palador having none of it. He's like, this is my house. Even though that shot wasn't coming close, I will clear it. Boop with the long shot. Hit oh, the, ding. Off the ding. Oh, oh there we go. How, How many shots on goal was that? I know that uh, it's like, what is the statistic? Just six shots on goal in order to make that. What, what accuracy number is that? Man alive. It's not good. Still though, they were able to maintain control because it really looked like Eclipse had control of that entire situation. But it looked like uh, Jax was just not going to give up, be relentless, pull the Affentera forward, and they were able to actually make it happen. It's like 18%, I think. Yeah, man. It's going to take Jax a while to warm back up, I'm thinking. Let's see here, guys. Are they going to be able to keep it together? They've tied it up at least. A lot of time gone down, too. We're pretty much halfway through the round. Oh, they're giving up a free shot. Let's see. Moving back in. Lemming moving back. Let's get punched out there, but got the pass to Shiny before getting stunned. Lemming's going to keep moving around to keep somebody from jumping on his back and punching him out. They're, they're pulling everybody out of position. They're going to end up with a free shot on the goal. No one there to stop him. Oh, there it is. They barely there touch it. it. Not enough, though. Shiny almost dunks it in the goal. There it is. Pulls everybody out of the goal for it. Everybody from Jax just being sent way down to the bottom of the arena there. Left it wide open, and Lemming gets the slam dunk to be able to secure it, getting, a, getting two more points for Eclipse here, and putting them back into the lead, too, just as we cross the halfway point for the round. Yeah, had a small camera shot of the players to see how fast it is they move, and they move fast indeed. They definitely have youth on their side on their team in this, in this particular matchup. It's like everybody, if I remember correctly, on Jax is 27. And um, Lemming, uh, Palador, and I Shiny, I think, have an average age, if you put them all together, of 24, 25. The launch coming back out now. Wow, that is a fast launch That's for Lemming. Lemming to move forward there, too. Jeez. It's what he does. He was a rocket. It's what he's been doing since the beginning of the game. He was less obsessed with winning and more obsessed with seeing how fast he could go. Shiny's gonna have to deal with some trouble here in a second. Though. He's got Slynn slowly creeping up on him. They've got the pass ready to go, and they punch out Slynn. Palador waiting for an open man to throw it to, dribbling back and forth. Boop in position, but still gets out thought because he knew he was there. Lemming just slowly kind of hiding up at the corners of the arena, too. Back down to Palador. It's good passes coming out so far. Here comes Recently the shot. saw Ice Shiny punch another player, too. No! Oh, no! It's picked up by Affenter. Bad clear. 
blocks it, and yeah, that's gonna be a bad clear, but ooh. Slynn picking up the slack, goes for another clear, clears it right to Balador, I mean, I Shiny. They just can't get rid of this thing, and Shiny no. getting a long-range shot, ooh. meaning it's a three-pointer now from 15 meters away. That hurts. Sinks it in, and that is all of a sudden a massive lead for Eclipse with only a minute and a half left now. Mm-hmm, indeed, man, that's a tough one to take down. Did not expect that to happen at all. Definitely not beneficial to Jax here in any way. Jax definitely seemed to have lost some of the spunk that we saw for them earlier, where they were really showing up with some team cohesion, amazing strats, and sadly, right now, it's just not showing up. It's a lot of whiffs from them. They've presented with so many opportunities. I mean, the one goal they did get, like we mentioned, it took them six tries to be able to sink that in. So they're definitely struggling to keep up with the pacing right now. He's about to get tackled, and Palador takes it from him, tosses it downfield. Tries to go for a long shot of his own. He's like, you know what? We just got to run the clock down. There's no reason to really go for the goal. Play defensively, guys. Nope. They're not going to play defensively. They're going to rush it down. Let's see. Palador getting it next. And just we can riding see. the goal. Look at how annoying Lemmings being as well. Just sitting right up on top of Affin's hair, not letting him see anything, let alone actually get an attempt to block it. So that's going to be another easy shot being taken by Eclipse since they dealt with the goalie. The other two players from Jax way too far away from the goal to be able to assist with that as well. Sadly, we're out of touch there. So Eclipse sinks another two-pointer. Which is what you got to do with the, with the, anybody who's uh, a, who's giving your team a hard time. In this case, the goalie Affentier and uh, their team, Lemming. You grab onto him. Just don't let go. Don't let him hit you. You've got long arms. Lemming is not a tall man. And that's one of the things that I would do to him early in the beta. Just grab onto him and not let go. And he's too concerned with getting you off of his back uh, and to not be able to play the game. Let's see. Still over a minute left here. So won't necessarily count Jax out of it yet if they come up with a strategy. Slynn's kind of just on his own here right now. He doesn't really have a chance to recover this. Gets the block off, knocks out one of them. He's going to move in. And again, we can see Lemming trying to bait this. Yep, here comes the, the right clock. clock run oh, they're wasting time now, yeah. Yep, burn off the clock. There's no reason to fight. They're just letting it bounce. Lemming moving back in, though. Punches Aventura. Lemming's just having a field day here now. Picks it up, sends it back down field. It's actually an open goal, too, but Jax will probably just panic, slingshot back, be able to get that control. They do it. Quick job from them, but still, it's not going to be much. Just they can get two three pointers off here. Next couple seconds. And even then, still going to have to score an additional goal. Here it comes, another shot from Lemming. He's been doing really good. Oh, did it again. Goes for the duck shot. Two to 11 now. Sadly, this is getting a bit brutal for Jax. And at this scoreline, it is pretty much the end here for them. At least in the upper bracket. Man, they're really doing their best to actually try to fight back. But man, that vertical attack that you get from Lemming, the up and down shots, the, the, uh, the squatting, the jumping. He makes it very difficult to fight against him because you're used to expecting him to go left or right or maybe a little bit up and down using their uh, their jets, but you're not expecting him to suddenly shift so much space. And action beats reaction in this game. Even though it is zero latency and you have more chances to actually stop them when they do something crazy, this is just not going to be enough for Jax to stop this one. But they'll have probably a second opportunity. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, they're going to stop the shutout, but it, does, it doesn't feel like they'll be able to make up those points. However, they will. They do have a second opportunity to come back, and it's a double elimination match. They'll be dropped down to the loser's bracket, and we'll have a chance to fight again. Yeah, and they'll be playing against the winner of the next upcoming match, of course. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, of course. Jax scoring one more goal, at least keeping the scoreline a bit closer here, but at this point, it's just a matter of running down the clock, ending the game. More than likely, this is going to be Eclipse moving forward and being the upper bracket champions. Because they get that pretty hefty advantage going into the grand finals. Here comes the attack. Run down the clock. Do you get another score? Or do you just call it a day and say, you know, we'll fight it out in the loser's bracket? It's pretty much been called there. So congratulations to Eclipse coming into this tournament as, as the number one seed. They are able to push themselves forward right through the upper bracket and now have claimed the first of the two.